It is summer holiday time on the island of Sodor. Vacationers come from far and wide to enjoy the beauty of the island. It is the busiest time of the year for Sir Topham Hatt's engines. Thomas was excited. Sir Topham Hatt had sent him to pick up a special to deliver to Dryaw Airfield. What have you got there, tooted Percy. A balloon, replied Thomas. A party balloon, asked Percy excitedly. No, said Thomas. This is a very special balloon, and he chuffed away. Soon Thomas arrived at the airfield, and hot air was puffed into the balloon. What is that? Huffed James. A hot air balloon, said Thomas. It will take vacationers on rides around the island. Taking vacationers on rides around the island is our job, wished James jealously. Then, as if by magic, the hot air balloon rose silently up into the sky. What if the hot air balloon takes our passengers away? Chuffed James. What will happen to us then? This made Thomas worry. Suddenly, he wasn't so excited about the balloon. The balloon could be seen by everyone on the island of Sodor. Duck gazed at it for so long, he ran into the back of Stepney. Why, it's a floating basket with folks in it, said Donald. Whatever will they dream up next, said Douglas. James and Thomas were waiting at the level crossing. They were still worried about the hot air balloon. If it takes our passengers away, chuffed Thomas, there'll be no use for us engines. Passengers should travel on trains, huffed James, not in silly balloons. Then something big and round and red drifted straight towards them. We're out of hot air, shouted a voice. Ah! cried James. What's happening? Crash, bang, wallop went the balloon and landed right on top of James. He was so scared, he let out a huge burst of steam, which blew the balloon up again. The balloon rose into the air once more. Well done, James, called his driver. Your hot air did the trick. Oh, no, James, cried Thomas. You saved the hot air balloon. I didn't mean to, groaned James. Now it's sure to take our passengers. Wherever James went, he could see the balloon carrying vacationers across the island. He felt he should be taking those passengers. Rails are better than hot air any day. James arrived back at the station. There were lots of people on the platform. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting, too. Well done, James. But now the passengers will ride in the hot air balloon. Sir Topham Hatt laughed. You're right, James, he said. But they will need a ride home in a train. James was delighted. Sir Topham Hatt was right. The engines were busier than ever taking vacationers to and from the airfield. Whenever James sees the red balloon, he whistles and toots. And sometimes when he's asleep at night, James dreams he can fly too, just like the red balloon. <laughs>